Dear friends, as Thomas has been away in York this year, Toby, Percy and Daisy have been working hard, trying to take on his duties. Unfortunately, Daisy has had to use Annie and Clarabelle, and it's caused some issues. But I'll let the story play out now. The author. And so, you'll be the only one taking passengers for the week, the Fat Controller told Daisy. Thomas had been away, and Percy was pulling Annie and Clarabelle. But Percy was needed elsewhere now. Oh, thank you, sir. As she ran off happily. Daisy arrived in the yard where Annie and Clarabelle were resting. You two are not needed today. You can stay right where you are, Daisy said smugly. The passengers will be so pleased when they're picked up by a highly sprung diesel rail car. How much more comfortable this is, they will say, than the usual lumpy, bumpy, old... All right, Daisy, Toby said. You should be nicer to them. You may need them someday. Oh, not me, Toby. I'm a rail car. I never need coaches. And she pulled away. Toby smiled. Don't mind her, he told Annie and Clarabelle. The best thing to do is to let her go. Engines like that always make fools of themselves one way or another. And with that, he set off. The passengers did enjoy their time on a rail car, and Daisy got confidence all day as she rode up and down the line. The next day, however, Daisy would become very upset. Ah, uh, Daisy, said the Fat Controller. Seeing that there are many more passengers for the holiday, I would like for you to take Annie and Clarabelle. Daisy was shocked. But, but, but sir... Oh, sir, Toby cut in. I'm sure Daisy would be so very happy to oblige. Excellent. Thank you very much. And he stepped back into his office. As Daisy coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle, Toby looked over at them and smiled as Daisy pulled away with the coaches following. As they went along, Annie and Clarabelle had made a plan to get revenge on Daisy. Can you hear rattling, Annie? Yes, Clarabelle. Is it you? No, it's not me. Well, it's certainly not me. I wonder where it's coming from, that rattling. I don't know. I can't hear it now over all the creaking. Creaking? Daisy asked in surprise. What's creaking? Oh yes, it sounds like rusty springs. Terribly dreadful noise. So very painful. I'm surprised the passengers haven't complained. Sounds like something needs to be scrapped. Daisy was horrified. When they arrived at Ellsbridge, Daisy went mad. Everybody get out! She yelled. Now what's this all about? The driver asked. I'm creaking and rattling. I must go to the works. Her driver looked around and knew that there was usually no arguing with Daisy. So she was uncoupled and left. Annie and Clarabelle knew they may have pushed it too far. Meanwhile, Toby was resting when the fat controller walked up. Ah, Toby, I need you to take me to Ellsbridge. Apparently, Daisy was making some dreadful noises and left all the passengers and Annie and Clarabelle there. Oh dear, Toby said as they left the shed. The passengers were very unhappy. They had been waiting for hours when Toby's bell rang. The two were very excited until the fat controller got out looking very cross. I would like to know what happened here, he said angrily. Annie and Clarabelle told him what they had done. 
Well, I'm very displeased, he said. Just know in the future that two wrongs don't make a right. And with that, they finally left the station. The next day, the fat controller came to see them. All right, because of what you two pulled yesterday, I have sent Daisy to pull her usual trains. But who will take us? Annie asked. Just then, two unfamiliar whistles rang through the yard as Bill and Ben bashed into Annie and Clarabelle. Ready to pull the passengers, Bill? Of course, Ben! As they shot out of the yard, rattling and creaking. 